Hello everyone and welcome to the floating head of Simon TV. Uh, yesterday was the Hands Off Our Kids demonstration in central Auckland and I got along to film. Uh, it's, it was a demonstration against the RSE um, relationship and sexuality education guidelines heavily pressed by the previous Labour government and very strongly supported by the teacher trade unions that amounts to rainbow child grooming in our schools. The demonstration was um, was arranged under the auspices of Destiny Church and uh, Brian and Hannah Tamaki, um, with their um, with with their support groups such as uh, Man Up, uh, who do some good work, and uh, and Hannah Tamaki's Pink Army of uh, of women who are concerned about some of these things. The other interesting aspect about the demonstration that I found was that there were other groups represented. It wasn't just them. Um, notably, Let Kids Be Kids were there, who've also been doing great work in the community raising these issues. Um, so it was quite a cross-section, I thought, of, of uh, society. I think the demonstration was probably smaller than, than they would have liked. I would estimate the crowd size at about a 1,000 people. Uh, the Man Up chaps, as usual, did a very good job in crowd control and security. Uh, and the police were happy and friendly, and they were effectively just doing traffic control. I saw no counter demonstrators. I heard that there was one uh, uh, waving a rainbow flag, um, but I, I personally didn't see anyone. Uh, everything that I saw was just a peaceful, happy demonstration uh, of people expressing their political opinions, as things should be. Um, I bumped into Eric McRae. A young Eric McRae, uh, who does a lot of good work, and I see he's published some footage from the demonstration, and the shots that I saw from him are great. Uh, have a look on his social media channels to see that. I think his footage is probably better than mine, which I'll show you in a moment. The other interesting thing was I got to meet uh, Avi Yemeni, uh, who's the Australian chap uh, from Rebel News, who I understand is here to uh, film some bits and pieces around Brian Tamaki. Um, I don't know an awful lot about him. Uh, I, I have heard that he is a rather contentious figure, uh, but I met him. Uh, he seemed affable and nice in person. Uh, yeah, um, very pleasant. Uh, I also noticed throughout the day that he and, and his cameraman worked very hard. Uh, they were interviewing people, capturing crowd shots and so on. Um, I, I suspect those guys spend an awful lot of, of time and effort because they worked very hard and uh, they captured a lot of footage. Uh, okay, I think that's probably everything other than to say uh, thank you to everyone who stopped by to say hello. It was nice to see you. Uh, still getting used to people who I've never met addressing me by name, but it's always nice to have a chat to people. Uh, all right, with that, I'll play the video. Um, enjoy. This is my shots of, uh, which I think pretty much captures what the demonstration was like. Here we go.
somewhere out. He'll be mingling in the crowd. Um, but you know what? We're here and I'm so grateful that you know why we need to come and stand here today. Thank you so much. There are so many excuses that you can come up with why you will not stand, but you made it today. And I want everyone to be a big round of applause for everybody that made the effort to come. Now, I know that there are a few organizations that are here. So we've got that of the UK, wow. 10 times, shame on us. And our mainstream media says nothing. They rather protect a radical leftist ideology. The Netherlands, who pioneered this stuff in the 1990s, has begun to pull back. It's good. Sweden started restricting hormone therapy. So that was pretty much the story. Uh, a, a nice winter day. Uh, out in the Auckland sunshine, people expressing their political opinions peacefully, some great speakers and an attendant crowd. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Simon TV. See you next time.